<laughs> Hello, Chlings, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins, where we continue all of this stuff again. Woo! And, uh, now I'm just gonna take this person back to where they belong. This way about time. I have not yet been brave. Yeah, I accidentally went the wrong way. <laughs> Sorry guys. I am a wanted man. I can see that. Teta. You brought back my taster. Uh yeah I did. There you go. This man has something to tell you. Well? Teta. I love you. What? And I uncovered a plot to poison the Lady Taimhotep, beloved of the High Priest. What? What? Lady Taimhotep loves our cakes and bread. For five years, we have delivered them to the Great Temple. But yesterday, I overheard the guards say that this week's cakes had been poisoned. Have they been delivered? I... I don't know. Uh, they'd be in the garrison if not. Then I will have to move quickly. This is all too much for me. Would you like to sit down? No, I need to think. Of course, love. Hush! How long has Satsubek been in love with me? I ain't answering that. You deal with your own things. Secret. Kinda cool. Kill everyone. Cause it's fun. The basket of cakes. These need to be destroyed too. And Destroying them. See if there are any others. Uh, well, I got little things gone, and there we go. No more poison cakes. That is the last of Look, I'm sorry, cro cro crocodile, but. You gotta die, man. Uh. Menjay! Come here! What does this boatman want? You seem like you're just. You're just rowing in the same place. Okay. Would you accept me as a traveling companion? I will take a new title. How about Tutmose the Fearsome? I travel alone. Oh, of course. Have you heard about the palace? Crocodiles swarm its halls. Terrible. So many deaths. I am hired to slaughter the beasts, but someone is pouring blood into the water to frenzy them. And you want my help? Oh, yes, yes. You will shrug off a crocodile's jaws as most men would a gnat's. Kill crocodiles near the palace and I will award you half my fee. What do you say, Magi? I am good at killing crocodiles. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Magi the mighty, Magi the majestic, Magi the... Mm, never mind. There is a hidden cave near the city's northern limit. Meet me there tonight. Um, what the hell just happened? What did he do? What? What? You just like flew off. What the hell is wrong with you, man? You all saw that? What the heck with that? What the heck? What? It's crazy. 
What the actual heck? <laughs> Magi! Oh, I am struck dumb with fear by what I see before me. You're struck with fear, but you're like skinning the crocodile. Grounds are choked with Sobek's dead. Did you see? In the pool, human body parts used to lure the crocodiles. Oh, what horror! But why? Oh, who knows why evildoers do evil? I came just in time to see two people loading bodies onto boats and riding away. I will put a stop to this mischief. Of course you will. And as your loyal companion, I will point you toward the mischief makers. One went toward the palace and the other was headed for the mummification temple. Here is half my pay, as promised. I will meet you back at my boat. Um, thanks. I'm sorry. I really don't want to be hurting you, but it gotta happen. Woo! Hmm. Children will be more peaceful. Than I hear children fighting secret tunnel cave entrance. Whoa. Let's go exploring. Ooh, secret things. Whoa. <laughs> May your heart be joyful, Magi. Joy is scarce while Memphis chokes on the scent of the grave. I am here to discuss Pasharemtha's complaint on the informant table. Indeed. We seek a capable person to investigate this tomb. Most are too fearful of the demons within to enter. But demons would fear a priest. Why not investigate yourself? I am a vessel of the gods. I contribute to prayer. Then I will face the demons. Pray that your faith shields me. <laughs> Ta grant you safety. They move not, they stare not, be it done for the right. You are not repugnant. Here is the tomb of Osiris. Ah, stench. Vile as the devourer's breath. The entrance is barred. There must be another way inside the tomb. Mm -hmm. The treasure I'm here better be worth the stink. It is enough to make a pig cry. Hmm. Now there are actually people in here. Still the same. So I preemptively went in here. Oh well. Oh great, now I'm being attacked. No, we do not attack me. You heartless bus. I shouldn't be swearing. You YouTube won't like it. Gotta be careful. Even though I literally don't have any of my videos monetized because I don't have an enough followers. I have a YouTube partnership, but I don't have enough followers to um, get AdSense. It's a weird way this place works. Ooh. I 
hardly breathe. The source of this poison is closer than before. Departed. Forgive my violation of your rest. Grant that I may pass by you. So I've, I've got to go around somewhere. You've got to let me through. Ah, ah here we go. These mummies are sound, not the cause of the smell. <coughs> An offering to chase the smell. Someone has been here recently. Someone who does not fear demons. Hmm. What in the name of the gods is that foulness? I should trace it to its source. Oh, I can go through. Yeah. The mummies. They are rotted. This is a crime again. Here. The flesh has decayed. The wrappings are still intact. If the wrappings are sound, the fault lies in the embalming. Fear of demons kept the crime from being discovered. I will pay the mummification temple a visit. Ooh, we're gonna be going to see some of my people. I'm here with all of my people. Well, I'm. If nobody knows this, I am a funeral director and an apprentice embalmer. Well, mortician. Um, so I'm learning how to embalm people. So, um, yeah, going to see my people. <laughs> Obviously, the way in which we embalm now is not the same as what the Egyptians did. Uh, Western embalming is, is very different to that. Um, but still really interesting and uh, fascinating, just kind of all of the different cultures, ways of respecting the dead, uh, ways of preserving the dead, how they treat the dead, um, how they don't treat the dead. Um, in Western culture, there seems to be a lot of... Um, it, it seems to be very rem far removed from death. And I feel like we'd need to be a bit more closer and a bit more informed. May Osiris shield your loved one's journey. I do not need your services. I'm here to inspect the temple. You are no priest. In whose name do you dare profane our grounds? In the high priest's name. Prove this by messenger if you wish. Ah, yes. Poor Pasheremta. The curse weighs heavy on us all. I have had two embalmers run off since it began. Her only untrained laborers are free to take their place. Such coarse fellows. I hope to discharge them soon. I look forward to meeting them. Do some investigating. Oh gosh. <laughs> We've got people crying and upset. Is this where bodies are delivered? Yes. This is the gate to the evil. The place of purification. The dead are brought here by their families. Then we wash them with tears wept by the gods at the death of Osiris. Or maybe just water. Hard to say. The mummies will not be tampered with so early in the process. This man is likely innocent. Send her out. Tell her what. What do you. Yes, yes, I know. You want to learn what I do here. I wash the bodies of the dead. It's a job. Been doing it for ten years now. There's little to say about it, really. A man of my own nature. He bears watching, though. Is your curiosity satisfied? Not yet. Be quicker. You disturb our work and the dead's rest. In Western culture, we also wash the bodies. Before How old are the bodies of the dead when you get like them? Embalming. A few days along. The families don't bring them right away so that we aren't tempted to defile them. <laughs> I can see why they chose you to welcome the bereaved.
Hmm. Wonder if we'll get any pretty ones today. Tell me okay, about the details of your work. Fine. After being washed in palm wine, its cavity is stuffed with myrrh and cassia bark. If you want to know more, read Herodotus instead of pestering me. The father of lies. I hear he is overrated. Well, we don't exactly wash our bodies in there. Um, that'd be very expensive. Uh, soap is just as good. Soap and water. Behold the Lord and his flood. Hail in peace. I wish to see the shoulder is the shoulder is fastened upon his neck. Do you have a mo your face, your face is that of a hound whose nostril sniffs at the cover to which my feet convey me. That is a little unfair. I have never seen eye to eye with priests. Yeah, neither. I understand how you feel, Bayek. You do not have to be religious, though, to have your loved one embalmed. And you do not have to have your loved one embalmed. You can just wash them, and that is good enough. I would not want to make an enemy of you. I have no enemies, and no secrets either. This is just how you get rid of the brain, a useless organ. Next, I will open up the flank and take out the liver, stomach, lungs, and intestine. They are the first parts of the body to rot. Fascinating. We never get visitors here. Come see us anytime. <laughs> friendly face can hide guilt. Yes. <laughs> he I seems like my it. mentor. Just like, yeah, I'm happy to show you what to do. <laughs> Come in anytime you want to learn. <laughs> Usually people in the industry are pretty friendly and... Is this everyone. salt you are working with? Not everyone, though. Uh, not salt. Natron. It dries out the body. And it fries my hand to shit. I have got burns all over. Although, they have been better lately. Has the natron changed somehow? The texture has been a little off. Powdery. They must be getting it from a new supplier. If you want to talk, natron, Man of Back is the expert. If natron is used to dry the bodies, there may be something wrong with the natron. I should speak to the worker out back. <laughs> Gonna find out some stuff. <laughs> they did a really good job replicating the sound of underwater, like that pressure sound. Like a really good job. And uh, they're done. They're done good. They're done a good job. Huh. All right, let me talk to you. Um, I'm here. Okay, there we go. These bodies are dried with natron. Hmm. Who might you be? A temple inspector. Right. About time you got here. Memphis has been stinking of rot for months. I suspect a problem with the natron. Where does it come from? Not far from here. Guarded by good men near the canal. Watch out for crocodiles. And lizards. Did you say lizard? It means something to you. Uh, I've heard it whispered in taverns. Rumors only. If you have nothing of substance to offer, I will be leaving. Wait. I can tell you this. Our natron is tainted. It is mixed with sand. Go to the warehouse just north of the great temple. The gods be with you. Here is the warehouse. I need to be careful. Only the guilty aim to disgrace the innocent. May the gods be kind. Ah. Salt is cheap. There must be more than gold to your crime. Gold had nothing to do with it. A priest in a blue sash brought my orders. He did this to me. 
He threatened to do the same to my daughter. I brought foulness on this city, only to protect her. I swear it! Please! Help me, and I will end this. Here. I kept it. Take it. I'll send this writer to the devourer. Seems fair Seal enough. Of Anubis. Going cave exploring. Ugh. Well, okay. Apparently, the bed's falling apart. No, you saw nothing. I can promise you that. Something's out here. I'm almost certain. Are you sure? Excuse me. Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Hmm. She has found the ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue fiance? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on your road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. Thank you. A Magi? How? I have not seen your kind in some time, Magi. We are a rare breed. As are merchants who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. They do not seem to appreciate variety. My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course. I'll leave you to browse. Excuse me, but I have some business to attend to. I'll be back soon. Okay. I'm starting to get a bit skeptical. An inventory. A talisman in blue fence is listed here. I should keep looking around. Speaking magical rules? Mm, nothing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Ah, she is hiding something. Investigation. And in the second chamber the worldly goods of our Apollo and Shesh to protect them and provide them sustenance. My message is incomplete. I wonder what the rest of it says. Hmm. Well, why don't we find out? Sure we can find the rest of it somewhere. Like, sure. Ooh, a secret area. Knew it. The merchant did not want me to see this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. A 
fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased. That is all the items. Now to meet Tamhotep on the road to the pyramids. Oh dear. Kinda felt things a bit fishy. Seems you like death. No, you haven't. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I found what you need, Tamhotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. Then let us ride to the pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. Okay. This is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My ritual must remain private. Is that also why we travel off the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nevet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nevet. <sighs> We have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices carry to unfriendly ears. Good idea. Yeah, but I mean... Don't want anybody attacking, but, um... Coming through here. I, uh... Yo. Kinda of figured this was gonna happen. It's gonna take a while. Ah, finally. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. Patar's blessing on you. Just be careful. I'm hoping that's your stomach and not a cat. Are we, we almost there? I'm guessing the place with these smelly stuff is where we're going to. Sorry, didn't mean to push you. What, what do you want me to do? morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me. For I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. Aww. 
I'm really sorry, Bayek. Uh, hello again? I am ready to speak of my dream. Of course, Deliverer. But first, you must help me. How? I have visions of danger. A dark cloud looms over three heads. An adventurer, a philanderer, and a beggar are all at risk. What would I do for them? Give each an amulet to guard against the darkness. One may be found near the great temple, one in its eastern district, and one in the tunnels that wind below it. I'll wait for you by the docks at the basin of the great temple. A dream of ashes. the fighter I do my best they caught me off guard the first time the seer offers this amulet to keep you from further harm my children cannot eat a stone I cannot do more for you than this may your luck change course pardon my rudeness you have already risked yourself to save me as long as I am alive my family still has a chance hmm. This is the way it goes, I suppose. In your ear? <laughs> All right, let's get you to safety, lady. Accept my thanks. I will claim my reward elsewhere. The seer sends this amulet. His visions show you are in need of protection. Why would I need this piece of junk? Just take it so we can conclude our business. Fine. I suppose wearing it will make my mother happy. That is all three amulets given out. Now to return to the seer. Run! Turn to O. Oh. Don't get spotted. Stay hidden. Oh, yeah, you're on fire. I keep accidentally doing that. That's annoying. If I just keep setting him on fire. Then at least it'll keep gradually taking damage off of him. This is one way to do it. Ow, oh, okay. Somebody else is attacking me. <laughs> Just constantly screaming because he's on fire. Okay, your big shield is getting in the way of things. There we go. Oh, oh. You've had a lot of health taken away from you. Come on, come after me. Keep throwing things at you and hopes you get poisoned or whatever. Ow. Alright. Just. Excuse me. Who's attacking? I 
Let's call him. No, I don't think I'm out of options. Just keep attacking them. Ah! Get off me. And now you want to come after me. Try and keep arrowing you. See, at least I can get arrows in you. Nope. Whoa. You must be Got you. You're trying to come for me. I ain't having it. Almost ah, oh, come on. That's what I mean. Like it's so difficult to get the flakes. You got a, you got a very narrow window of opportunity. This shield for one of them. Out of ammo. Damn. Now I gotta try and find a place. No, 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 get up. Now I gotta try and find a place where I can get some ammo. Some. Come on, get up, get up. You are an aberrance of nature's law. Nope, not being around for this. Any arrows? Any arrows, please, 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 please. Down a go, down a go, down a go. Just take the arrows, take the arrows, take the arrows. <laughs> Alright, take the arrows, go after the phylacetai. On. Keep giving you the little tiny poisonous ones. You are not the flucky tie. There he is. Shoot. I'm in trouble. Finally died. What are you doing here? Ugh. Have you delivered the amulets? Yes. One arrived too late to protect its bearer. Which? The adventurer. He met a lonely end bitten by a snake. This is sad news. All the same, I consider your debt paid. A sacred island lies farther in the embrace of Mother Nile. Bring me there, and I will tear aside the curtain that shrouds your nightmare. Okay. Now, deliver. Tell me what you saw. I saw... I saw what has lain behind my eyes every night for the past year. The crocodiles don't like me very much. Sorry, crocodiles. It had to be done. Forward into the light.
Libra, would you be free of the curse that plagues your sleep? There is a ritual that will banish it from your mind forever. Yes. Do it then. Go beneath the waters south of here and bring up the statue of Gnum from the sunken temple of Ramses. With this likeness of the great Potter to hand, the ritual can be performed. Okay. Still don't quite understand how you can talk underwater. I know it's supposed to be your thoughts in your head, but like. It don't make no sense. <laughs> Statue. Gnum, sculptor of children, he will battle Apep in your place. This ritual needs your mind's strength. Sit by my side and meditate as I speak with the gods. Okay. Oh, oh light. Come forth, O oh light. Rise, O oh light, ascend, O oh light. You who are without, come in! Oh, darkness! Remove yourself from his eyes! Oh, God of seeing, bring in the light to him! Oh, a pep who coils in the abyss! Don't know what happened, but I think I did the right thing. I knew you could do it. Did you bring me here to get rid of these bandits? Sure did. I'm extremely smart. Everyone says so. How did a smart boy like you get tricked into working for bandits? I don't work for them. This mean old lady locked up a bunch of us kids. She makes us steal for her. Locked up? Yeah. My sister was going to save us. And she said to meet her in the shipyard by the river. But she never came. Will you look for her? I'll steal you an apple. <laughs> hey, you don't need to buy my help. It is yours for free. What is your sister's name? Kawit. And mine's Ifri. If you find Kawit, tell her I'm mad at her. No. That's kind of cute. Who's there on the chair? <laughs> Must have been a blaze to make Ra jealous. Yes. They say the ship caught fire in the harbor last night. Know how it happened? No. I am just here to repair it. Hmm. <laughs> Investigation. Keep your distance, or I'll break your face. Easy now. Did you see a young girl around the shipyard yesterday? I see lots of girls. Most not worth looking at twice. They would likely say the same of you. If it is information you want, you have just tripled its price. I'd rather throw my coin pouch in the river. Throw oh, up yourself, man. There's something underneath the ship. Ah, the ship was dry docked when it caught fire. Traces of oil. 
Ooh. Secrets. been a blaze to make Ra jealous. Yes. They say the ship got fire in the harbor last night. Know how it happened? No. I am just here to repair it. Mm. Is that sure? Oh, mom, take me by the hand, you do the man. Don't you want caged? Looks like it. Back off, I must be another way to make him talk. Mm, what if I scare him? Unable. Some men only answer to the language of violence. Oh, I can do violence. I will tell you about the gun. Just do not break anything else. Uh. <laughs> That's right, you answer to me. Drop it. Come on. Yeah. Whoop, didn't mean to get on fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's running. <laughs> I know you said you talk, but uh, I wanted to send everything you love on fire. By the limbs of Osiris, you are a cruel man. What yeah, happened yeah. to the girl? I looked at her twice. The second time, she was stealing my biggest jar of oil. She vanished like a demon in daylight. When I came back, Rakians were destroying my stock. Made a lot of you sink to the bottom of the Nile. I think I understand what happened here. Gawit stole an oil jar from that oaf of a merchant and hid until nightfall. Under cover of darkness, she spread oil on the ship and set it aflame. The blaze spread to the whole vessel. While the ship burned, Gawit freed the children held on the docks, but the bandits must have caught her. Whoever owns this ship was responsible for the kidnappings. Ah. Your brother sent me here. Where is Kawit? They took her and everyone else to a house in the city. Some rich lady named Gaia owns it. It's by the temple of Hathor. Will you save my family? By the mother goddess, I will. No. I got it. <coughs> Live forever. Did Nestor knew? No, young Ifli did. Where is he? What do you mean? I followed you the whole way. Take Matsya home. Go. <laughs> Why don't you go with them? I'm going to track down that Roman bitch who did this to my family. If you want to help me kill her, meet me at the house of Net. Okay. It is ugly to kill in front of the little ones. What happened here? Who was he? Neff. The children called him father. This is his house. This is his house. You are injured. I don't give a shit. 
The Roman hag who did this leaves by boat for Alexandria today. Help me feed her to the crocodiles one piece at a time. I can go alone. No need for you to bloody yourself, father. It has to be me. Is your need worth leaving the children unprotected? Destroy her name, Bayekov Siwa. I need to move quickly, or this monster will flee Memphis. Senu can find a ship with colored sails faster than I can. The peace will be sad without father to look after them. No. Let's go kill the monster. Murdering a murderer. This is where my quest began. Someone has taken great care of this chamber. Location completed. Ooh. Secrets. Undone here. Yet now there's a shrine, a memorial where none should be. Could this be for Rutjek? None could care for that snake that began this twisted quest, could they? Possibly. Rutjek's arrow. I marked his name off my list with this. Now it sits on the ground, forgotten. Whoa! The smell of the blood I spilled still lingers here. A mummified heron. For resurrection. No. Whoever did this must have known of Rudjek's place in the order. Rudjek does not deserve a tomb. This is an insult. This tomb was made for a pharaoh. Whoever did this has defiled this place. Ooh. Bringing another body into somebody else's tomb. Oh, shivers. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Whoa. It has? Okay. This place was a beginning for me and an end for Rujek. The arrow marked both of those things. After I stabbed that bastard, things went dark. When I came back to myself, Rujek was dead. Rujek's body should have been left to rot. He has been laid to rest with respect by someone who wanted him to enter the Duat prepared. Whoever buried him also left this heron mummy to honor Rudjek with his god's damned namesake in the afterlife. They then returned here to pay respect to Rudjek. If these candles are any indication, no matter what, I know Rudjek's heart was found lacking. That bastard suffers in the afterlife, no matter what was done here. Hmm. I will be judged one day, but I do not regret my actions. The feather will always be lighter than my heart. Fair enough, Bayek. Fair enough. Let it rest. Tomb of Senefu. A lot of things going on. So it's all in a. Oh, okay. I can smash my way through. 
Oh yeah. Not now it's all down there. Well, I think this is where I'm going to leave the episode, as it's definitely gone on for long enough. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, well, leave it to the like button, set the subscribe to become a hatchling, and I will see you all in a wingspan. Bye-bye.